so genistin is a, an isoflavone. Um, it has a similar structure to estrogen. Um, and it's been shown to be uh, effective in cell culture at reducing the um, buildup of uh, glycosaminoglycans or GAGs in uh, cells. Um, in particular, with um, we've tested uh, genistin in MPS type 3B, um, which is San Filippo type 3B, um, in an animal model, and we found it to be. Um, quite an effective drug at reducing the buildup of heparin sulfate, which is the specific type of gag that builds up in San Filippo. Um, we think that it acts uh, as a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, um, so it, it blocks growth factor receptors, uh, and it also may have some effect on inflammation as well, and all of these things appear to be uh, combining in uh, San Filippo disease. We have phase one data from the Barbara Burton study um, using high doses of genistin a glycone, um, bonistin, the same product that we're going to use in our trial. Um, and we have, da we have data from that trial on, on very high doses of genistin that, that are very similar to the doses that we're planning to use. Um, and really because it's quite a small uh, uh, because it's quite a rare disease, um, we are actually potentially able to license the product as a result of this trial. So phase, phase one really just means safety, phase two is efficacy, and phase three gets you to the possibility to license the product. And really this is just means that we have a possibility of licensing the product if the trial outcomes are clear cut. So the drug has come from DSM Nutritional Products, uh, based in Switzerland. Uh, the product is Bonistain, which is the same product that um, patients have been taking on the Barbara Burton clinical study that's recently been published and has provided phase one data for our study. The product is a, a, a GMP grade product. It's good manufacturing grade. This is a requirement by the regulatory authorities um, for a clinical trial and so at the moment we're having this product repackaged because it has to be repackaged at the same grade in order to retain its um, uh, GMP mark if you like um, and we expect to be starting the trial in early 2014 when the drug's been repackaged.